This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Hello there and welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today is Apoktino. Apoktino. Fun fact. Uh, when I got my first Xbox Live account years and years and years ago, my account name was Speed. Then there was a short falling out and I had to get a new account. And then I got Apoktinon. Sound familiar? Uh, it, it means one who destroys. Destroyer. Killer. Something like that. So apoktino, or apoktino, it actually comes from uh, apokteno. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's apoktino or apokteno, uh, where apokteno occurs in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, mm, and a handful of other places, but otherwise it's apoktino. All right, so apoktino means I kill. All right, literally, to deprive of life, kill. Well, I played, I played video games, the shoot 'em up, doo 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 doo, pew pew, and so I was going, you know, how do I? This is, these are the games I'm playing in Greek. It's fun, so I went with this, and I went with the uh, nominative masculine participle, apoktinon, one who kills, killer, something like that. Okay. Now it's phonophone because I realized, oh, well, Halo is Slayer, right? Slayer. Everyone knows that. And uh, phonovo means uh, I slay. So phonophone, one who slays. Slayer. Anyways, I digress. So uh, apoktino, to deprive of life or kill. So this could be of bodily life. This can be of transcendent life. Uh, for example, uh, what is this? Second uh, Corinthians three. Uh, uh, it's in reference to to gramma, the letter, the letter of the law, kills. So it's a legal sense. Now there's a figurative, abstract uh, gloss to apoktino. To do away with, put to death, eliminate. Eliminate the enmity, teen uh, echthron, Ephesians 2.16. So uh, you have literally to deprive of life, but then figuratively you have put to death this abstract thing. And that's apoktino. So, uh, there you have it. That's today's Greek word of the day. I hope you found it helpful. And I think it's a good reminder. I'm on Mixer, so if you want to come watch me play video games, it's mixer.com slash phonevon, P-H-O-N-E-V-O-N, if you want to come watch. I play shoot 'em up games, first-person games, Dying Light Zombies, uh, Halo. Uh, it You know, it's fun. But uh, otherwise, stick around here. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. It's somewhere like over here. And then there's a little bell, right? So click that bell and get the little brackets around the bell. That way you get notifications when I go live on Saturdays at 9 a.m. That's coming up in a couple days. We'll be translating uh, something else. We finished the, the Johannine Corpus. Well, at least... In the general epistles, maybe what what we should do is is go to the Gospel of John. That could be fun. I've translated portions of it, but never the whole thing. So why don't we why don't we do that? Actually, let's move over to uh, the Gospel of John, and then we can really say we've translated the entire Johannine corpus, whether it's the Gospel or the epistles. That'd be cool. Nice achievement. Achievement unlocked. All right, so that's that's it. It's done. I've just decided right here in the moment. We're going to do the Gospel of John starting this Saturday at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific, so we'll see you then. And then uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another Greek word of the day. All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.